Hello everyone, my name is Barb Owen of HowToGetCreative.com and I bought myself a brand new book and I'm going to share it with you. The name of this book is Draw, Paint, Print Like the Great Artists and there is the author's name which I'm not going to try and pronounce because I really don't know how you say that author's name. Anyway, Draw, Paint, Print Like the Great Artists. This book is, um, it, it's a nice thick book. It measures an inch, almost an inch in depth, and it measures eight and a quarter inches wide by 11 and a quarter inches tall. So it's a nice big book, and it is, it is fun. This is, you know, there's, I buy books. Okay, let me just say this. I buy lots of books and I have a big extensive library because I love books and I love them on all different kinds of subjects, particularly creative subjects. But sometimes you just got to buy a book just because it looks fun. And that's what drew me to this book. It just looked fun. So we're going to look through it. I believe that this book was actually um, intended for young people, but you know what? Um, I still I still consider myself young. I'm young at heart, anyway. But yeah, I digress. Okay, um, it's an this is written um, as now I don't even remember where I found the description and it, written as an imaginative new activity book. It makes learning about art fun. Young readers are introduced to more than 30 great artists, then encouraged to try out the technique that lies um, behind their greatest works. Okay, so we're going to take a look through it. The first thing you notice when you crack open the cover is that it has a fold-out cover, which could easily be turned into a pocket to keep different notes and things in. This book belongs to, the paper is kind of a newsprint type of paper. It's heavier than newsprint, but it's a, it's an interesting paper. It's not a super smooth paper. Published in 2014. And the thing that I like about this paper is that it's not too precious. It's not too precious to use. So Creativity Takes Courage by Henry Matisse. And then you find the right off the bat, the art supplies, art materials, and then all these cool drawings and illustrations. So these would be really fun if you wanted to even practice just looking at those and copying them and uh, just get some drawing practice. If you're not very confident in your drawing skills, it's a great way to do that. And so we jump right into the first artist and there's a little blurb about the kind of a synopsis of his art and then this is a rendition created or inspired by the artist of this book is inspired by this artist and what um, what they created here and then it goes through some exercises and then guides you through some things to do when I was a kid one of the things that we did in art class that I particularly loved was this in fact, I don't know. Let's see if I can put my hand on an art journal page where I did something similar. I haven't finished it yet. Let me see if I can find it. Um, that every once in a while I go back to this particular art journal page and do some do some work on it. Let me see. Give me a moment. I'm having a moment here. Here not the same exact thing but it's similar you know where I just took a, a line and just divided the page up and then I've just been playing with it and sticking stuff in these various sections ever since so it's not exactly the same thing as this but it's kind of inspired from that that type of um, mark making so close your eyes and draw and then experiments and mark making. So this all has to do with the first author. Then a section on textures. And then the next the next artist. I think I said author. I meant artist. Draw on top of a drawing. So you can, you know, here's a destroyed drawing. 
so gesso or painted over the top of that. I did that recently on a canvas that I didn't like, so I just went right over the top of it. On to the next artist with all different kinds of cool things about that. And then here, I think this looks like really a fun exercise. Cut circles, squares, and triangles, and then see what kinds of patterns and things you can create with those. And by the way, at the, the um, back of the book, there are colored pages, colored papers to cut out and do those exact things to use throughout the book. So that's, e that's even included with this book. Uh, make patterns by coloring in. Make more patterns by coloring in. This is great TV work. You know, you can sit down, you could just color in and see what kinds of things you come up with. Using triangles to see how many different ways you can express how many characters can you make just with triangles and lines. On to the next artist and so forth. So the whole book is set up this way. So you have an artist, you have kind of a little brief synopsis of that artist's work, and then an example created by the author of the book that is based on that artist's work. Now, anybody that likes circles is going to like this section because this is all about circles. And those of you who know me know how much I love mandalas or mandalas, if you prefer. In fact, I wrote a course called Mandala Madness, which is located at howtogetcreative.com. And you can find out just how much I love circles and circular forms. I think this looks like loads of fun to do this. Cut out different size circles and see what kinds of interesting um, things you can come up with. Salvador Dali. I think this is written with um, young people in mind, but I mean, this is, I was not an art major in school, and so this kind of, this kind of book is, I think, is a great thing for someone like me to enjoy as well and get, you know, a little peek into the world of some of the great artists. So just, just looking, just looking throughout. So I'm just giving you the briefest overview. Cubist inspired still life. So just leafing through the book quickly, just so you can see. Frida Kahlo. Mexican glyphs. Doesn't that, I mean, I just think it looks really cool. Crayon etchings. Who didn't do that? Who didn't do that? It's time to get, it's time to go back and review some of these things, you know? Different symbols and um, doing things with dots. Yeah, just all kind of Andy Warhol inspired work. And then these, um, this artist, and you notice I've avoided most of their names because I honestly don't know how to pronounce most of their names. As I said, I was not an art major, so I'm not well versed in all of that. Um, but the, these kinds of imagery and things remind me of what I've seen Tisha Moore do. She does incredible work with uh, combining various collage elements and um, imagery together. So you could do some fun things with that. So anyway, lots of cool stuff. Tree of Life. And then at the end, like I said, you have uh, papers colored papers that you can cut out and you can use with the exercises throughout this book. So this is draw, paint, print like the great artists. <clears throat> then the same author has also written another book that's called Let's Make Some Great Art. And um, that is an interactive coloring and activity book. And uh, the artist or the author takes you takes the broad canvas of art and fills it with drawings and activities that engage with what art can be, how it can be made, what it can mean for you, and what it has meant for people through the ages. It's aimed at children ages 8 and older. The emphasis is on fun and making the creation of, an, of art an integral part of the way you express yourself. 
So that little blurb is about let's make something great. This one that I just showed you by the both of these by the same author is draw, paint, uh, and print. Draw, paint, print like the great artist. So anyway, if you have kids in your life or if you just want to learn some um, some things about some of the great artists and just see what you can do to incorporate some of their um, techniques into your art, maybe just get you thinking a little differently. I think these are great, great book. And I want to get the other one as well. So anyway, thanks for joining me today. Uh, my name is Barb Owen, howtogetcreative.com. Hey, join me every Friday or every first Friday of the month um, uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern when I stream live. Love to have you come over and join us and see what we do. I never know what I'm going to do for sure and chat with me and love to have you join us or head on over to howtogetcreative.com. It's a membership website full of creative arts videos of all different subjects and we'd love to have you come over there and join us as well. So thanks for joining me today and until I see you again, remember to get creative today because you know it's easy and I'll see you next time.